Mm, hello, Atilio, Claudia María. ¿Ustedes, no. alguno tuvo problema para ingresar? Mm, no, eh, nada. No, no, no. Es no. que hay alguien que me está diciendo que, que tiene problemas y que le dice que su contraseña ha vencido. No, a mí me agarró no, la primera. No a mí, a mí. Porque ya mejoramos la señal aquí. Ay, no. Qué divertido, yo preocupada ahí. Y no es acá, es los facilitadores, un compañero, pero como están a la par, ¿verdad? Y yo utilice, utilice el enlace que les enviaron hoy y por eso desesperada, uy, no, ya voy a ingresar ya, pero no, no son ustedes. Ok, me pone el compañero y yo uso el enlace que le pusieron. Ah, ok, me dice él. Ok, so hello, ajá, Mr. Tony, how are you today? Everything fine? Now you are able to join to the class? Yes. yes. Okay. Clarify, boys. Okay. Ah, you were sick <clears throat> from the throat. Yes. And you called in sick. Mm, uh, you I know, no, do you remember calling sick? Es reportarse yes. al trabajo enfermo. Yeah. Sí. Did you but, call in but, sick? Yes or no, I didn't. But, but in my case is, um, Friday at night, Saturday and Sunday, and <laughs> so no disability accepted. Okay, but now you're getting better. So we need to be very careful with our throat, right? Because of the changing weather, the it is the season, I think, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Ay, no. Es que no sé por qué siempre a esta hora se cruzan los chats. El de ustedes con el de los otros compañeros, con los compañeros de trabajo del inglés corporativo. Yo como solo veo y yo lo dejo abierto con ustedes, ¿verdad? Y me aparece ese, entonces. Uy, sí. ¿Cuál será el problema? Y más que les compartieron el link a otro. Ok, so welcome, Miss. It's exactly the time to get started. Miss Celia Cristina, Nelson Orlando, Mirna Lisset, Carla Sofía, eh, Mariana Scarlett. I already greeted Miss Claudia María. We miss you last class. Ok. Uh, Atilio, welcome. We expect that Atilio's connectivity is going to be better today. Yeah. And then. Here. Yes. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> you have to recall what we did last Friday, okay? And here we go. I'm going to start sharing class. I'm going to start sharing my PPT. And here we go. Okay. Here we are. Today is November 20, 21st, right? 2022. The month is about to say goodbye. And next week, we are saying goodbye also to the class. So I need you to continue working in the platform. Okay, class? And here we go. Uh, well, today is our video conference number 14. And we have greetings as every day, uh, feedback. The one that I told you we're going to have, we're going to read the objectives. And today, as a pre-task, you are going to be asking and answering questions to check that maintenance. The same for the preparation task as well as for the main task. I expect we're going to be working at pages 35 and 36 and then the wrapping up of the class. Again, a reminder for the homeworks, okay? Because tomorrow we're going to be saying goodbye to unit three. The requirements, you know, your full name, uh, camera on, 
to turn the microphone off unless you are told not to do so. Active participation. The attendance is taken twice at about 8.20 and at about 9.40, depending on how the class is, you know, because sometimes you're very focused, working very hard, I cannot interrupt you. And at the end, one of you is going to stay with me in order to take the one-on-one -on -one session in order to reinforce something or clarify something that you might have a doubt about. And in the Zoom, we have the mute button. This is expected to be, right? That everybody with the cameras on, the chats are available, the breakout rooms are going to be available. And in there, you're going to have the ask for help button and respect above all, okay? For everybody, we are here. So tomorrow, the 22nd, November 22nd, you need to have uh, completed week one, section one, section two, and section three, because very soon, we're, the day after tomorrow, we're going to start week number four. And remember that you in week number four, you have to take the final test, okay? And then we have the objectives. One volunteer to read the general objective. Only one volunteer. Tony is sick of his throat. So he needs someone else to, okay, Tony is going to sacrifice because he is sick of his do? throat. Okay, go okay. ahead. <laughs> um, object, general objective. Participants will de develop competences that will allow them to mark steps in a progress and ask and answer questions to check that maintenance procedures are meeting face to face and telephone conversation with other in work situations. Okay, someone else to help reading the specific objective and the class objective. Let me see who's going to help the class. Hello, one more volunteer. I have 14 students so far. Thank you, Miss Celia Christ Christina. A specific objectives. Participants will be able to ask and answer questions to check that maintaining procedures are met. Okay. Miss Claudia, would you help us reading the class objective? By the end of the class, participants will be able to use phrasal verbs. Prisal verbs. Today we're going to be working with prisal verbs, okay? So, um, let me see. Here we go. Carla, what time do you get up? Hola. What time do you get up every day? I get up uh, at 6.30. At 6.30, okay. okay. Concepción Marina, what time do you go to bed? Hi, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Okay, what time do you go to bed? Uh, today. No, usually. What time do you usually go usually, to bed? Usually, uh -huh. at 11, 11 or 11 30 p.m. Okay, especially when you stay with the teacher <laughs> after the class. And let's see, uh, Atilio, mm. what time do you take a shower every morning? Five, 20 o'clock. At, say that again, please. Five. At five. No. Six, six, no. Six, at five or at no, six? Five, six, no, five, five, three, 20. At 5.20. At 5.20 uh -huh. or at five and 20. You say o'clock only when it is seven o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, the exact hour you say o'clock, okay? Oh, okay. Okay, very good. Listen, what I've been asking to them are phrasal verbs. 
because there is a verb and a phrase which is different from what we were studying last week, idioms, yes? So we're going to establish the difference today and you're going to work with different phrasal verbs. The phrasal verbs are the phrases that begin with a verb, okay? Get in, get out, and so on. Now I continue sharing with you guys. And in the next slide, what do we have in here? This is what I was telling you about. If you remember, we were using the idioms part one, yes? And you were working a lot with this. It was very interesting, the class. And uh, you were also building a conversation using the Freisal verb. And uh, we have uh, this, uh, not Freisal verbs, but idioms, as sick as a dog. Notice that in this uh, idiom, the first word is not a verb. Under the weather too, the first word is not a verb. There's something going around, not a verb. My stomach is killing me. The first word is not a verb. Take it easy in this case. Yes, right? Can't afford to, but it is a moral verb. Calling sick in tip top shape. So that is the difference. And here you were matching the idioms to their meanings, correct? Yeah. And you were practicing a lot. And uh, we clarify the situation with the meaning number one and number two, that uh, the idiom as sick as a dog is usually used to express that you are sick of your stomach, yeah? And now <clears throat> I'm going to share the book, <clears throat> the manual with you so you can have a better feedback and you can recall everything that we did because this was the based conversation and here you were reading and practicing the idioms in context and one of the of the ideas and one of the best uh, how can I say um, learnings that we had is that Idioms are words or phrases which mean something different from their literal meaning. So you don't need to pretend to be translating word by word. Otherwise, <clears throat> the meaning is going to be crazy. It is not going to have sense because to be translating one by, word by word as sick as a dog, tan enfermo como un perro. Me siento tan enfermo como un perro. We don't say that. You say that you feel extremely sick from your stomach, yeah? And that is one meaning. And you were creating your, your conversation because you had to call in for, for a sick, yeah? To call in in sick here. Call in sick. That was, and now we're going to get started because you have a lot to do today also. over here, okay? So we're going to get started with the following. <clears throat> These are the questions that you have to answer class. Who is the person who fixes damaged equipment at work, obviously? And what are some pieces of equipment you have trouble with? When we say <clears throat> pieces of equipment, you have to say, for example, the gadgets. Uh, if you usually have problems with the printer, with the computer, with any other equipment that you have. This means, in this case, like which unit or which, because it is not a machine. So uh, right now I'm going to share these questions because you're going to be transferred to the breakout rooms class so you can share your ideas on 
these questions, okay? Because you have to give your opinion. You have to give your opinion. And I'm going to share it here via WhatsApp. Let me see. Okay. I. Oh, yes. Okay. I know they are crossing again. Let me see. Okay. Here we go. Look at these chats. I'm going to put the other one in mute. So I don't listen to them. <laughs> okay, so these are the questions that you need to provide an answer. Who is the person who fixes damaged equipment? And what are some, piece, some pieces of equipment you have trouble with, obviously, at work? Yeah. And here we go. Class, are we clear about the activity? What are you going to do right now? Let me see, I'm going to ask. Nelly, what are you going to do right now in the activity? Nelly, hello. Hello. Nelly, ¿qué vamos a hacer en la actividad? Teacher, teacher Nelly, escribiendo el chat que estaría de oyente. Oh. Okay, thank you so much. And maybe, because we had a situation last class. Sandra Leticia. Hello, Sandra Leticia. What are you Hello. going to be doing right now in the class? Um, I'm at the podium. <laughs> ¿Qué vamos a hacer ahora en la clase con esa, con esa diapositiva que les compartí? No, pues la verdad no entendí muy bien. Ok. In this slide that I have shared with you, you are going to answer these two questions, but they are related to your workplace. ¿Quién es la persona quien repara el equipo dañado en tu compañía o en tu lugar de trabajo? What are some pieces of equipment you have trouble with? ¿Cuáles son algunos de los equipos con los que usualmente tienes problemas? Okay. You have to answer those two questions, but you are going to do it in your breakout rooms. Okay. Ready? Are we clear now? Si estamos claros? Hello? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Thank yes, you, you. Yes. Celia and Atilio. And now we go to the breakout room, but please participate everybody, okay? I need you to be speaking. Remember, very soon you are going to be in level six. Six out of 18, only 12 more, okay? Okay, the platform has created four groups. Here we go. I'm going to send you the invitation. Please, only speaking, you don't have to write. Only speaking, speaking, speaking. Okay, go to your groups. I sent you the invitation. Go to your groups, please. Join your groups if you are so nice. Pablo. Okay, Pablo. Let me see. Pablo, join group. Number four, I'm going to send you the invitation, okay, Pablo? Okay, Thank you so much. 
And the other ones, Miss Mariana Scarlett, join your group. Join your group. And Josue, join your group. Marina, Marina Jansi, join your groups, please. Hello, Concepcion. Lonely the lonely. Josue is not joined and Marina Jansi didn't join. So, Concepcion, are you here? Concepcion, hello. Yes. Okay, I'm going to transfer you to another group then, okay? Yes. Because the other partners didn't join. I, I don't know why this happens. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Join to group number three. Okay. I'm going to send you the invitation. Okay. okay. Problem? They told me, and you me this, uh, that um, I need to to go the computer to the to the technical support office. Entonces, si no pueden arreglar el problema a través de una llamada telefónica, ellos me piden que yo lleve la computadora a la oficina de servicio técnico. <coughs> Ese es mi caso y es la computadora lo que me pasa daño. <coughs> En su caso, mm -hmm. Wendy o Concepción o Don Miguel o, o, o la niña Stephanie. My case is depending probably if I the eh, si, if I repair, I do it. Usted es solita. <laughs> yes. But what, what what is what is what is the piece of equipment means the computer. Eh, impresores o computadores. Oh, wow. Ok. Y el carro también. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe también. Ok, me parece mm -hmm. interesante. Sí, sí, son cosas. O sea, ah, ah. Eh, no sé. Preguntémosle a la teacher. ¿Cómo se dice encargado? Encargado de mantenimiento. Mm, the maintenance responsible or the manager. The maintenance uh, manager. El jefe de mantenimiento. O el encargado. Encargado. No sé. Pues sí, encargado es el jefe de mantenimiento o no. Bueno, en la empresa solo hay uno. Ah, pues entonces es el, 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 el manager porque es el único que, ¿verdad? El que, he takes all the responsibility. Uh -huh. The maintenance uh, manager, usually there is a, a manager because the manager has different uh, people, okay, to send to the different uh, places in order to help the employees. Uh -huh. In my case, we don't have a personal in the office. We is from outside. Se subcontrata todo. Mm -hmm. Like outsourcing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. En Pueblo Alberto, Adalberto. Regálenme unos minutos porque ahorita estoy eh, solucionando unas cos cosillas por acá. Ok. Or sometimes is my turn. Repair it. Equipment, computer. The computer. And the printer. Uh, in the printer. Mm -hmm. The equipment. 
more fragile. Frequent. Frequentemente. Frequently. Como, como decir la que se arruina frecuentemente es la que se arruina la, la, la impresora the printer is the, usual, is the equipment that usually is damaged me volvió tibio uh -huh. And I was wondering if he was here. Atilio. And welcome back. And uh, Norma Patricia is going, <laughs> is going to be with you. Oh, uh -huh. Okay, and Norma is going to be with you, okay? Okay. Okay, continue. And I, I don't know if Atilio had a chance to share no, he didn't share. No compartió, Atilio, sus respuestas a las preguntas. No, no, me sacó en ese momento. Ahorita le voy a okay. compartir. Ay, that internet, right? Okay. And remember that Norma Patricia is also part of this group. Okay. And Luis Miguel. Okay. Sí, yo. ¿Qué herramienta utiliza para trabajar? Sí, si se le daña, ¿qué, qué hace? ¿A quién llama? Uh, I use, use a um, tablet. I may probably is me is with my tablet because the internet is bad in my world. Uh, and Wi-Fi is claro company. <laughs> No way. <risa> no. Me acaba de dar en el corazón. <risa> y la garganta me también. Me merece el corazón, don Tony. <risa> yeah. When the com when Celia's computer damaged, he called the technician. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Sandra y Nelson then. <laughs> the computing. Computer and Nelson car. In my case, I I do <laughs> I fix the <laughs> computer or print it. You can fix them, Miss. Um, when the problem is easy or is easy to repair. For example, can... for example, when the printer is, you know, needs some cleaning because the pages are, you know, like with extra ink. What do you do? Mm. A veces es el papel que está doblado. Ajá. Cuando se dobla, entonces los cabezales se ensucian y ahí es donde le. le oh. Pues, son. Ajá. And. Depende on printer. Depending on the printer, ok, very well. Si es, si es continuing, eh, eh, it have a option for maintenance. Okay, excellent, <laughs> very well. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes uh, the ¿cómo sería cabezales está sucio. And you have to clean the, the heads. Yes. Oh, but okay. ¿Cómo se dice armar? You have to. Es... That is the risky part that we don't do because we are afraid. 
that we are not going to fix it in the appropriate way. Yeah. <laughs> so you are brave. Congratulations. Yeah. Because I wouldn't dare to do that. Yo no me arriesgaría a hacer eso. Okay, to, to unscrew, okay, with a screwdriver and all the things, no? Oh, it's delicate. Uh -huh. it's, it's risky. Risky, yeah. Okay, did everybody participate here? Uh, all, of, all of you share the, the answers, yes. 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 Okay, great. Very well. Now let's return to the uh, main session room. Thank you. Before we start sharing, I'm going to take your first attendance. So I'm going to call your names, okay? Okay, class, here we go. I'm going to call your names to so take your first attendance. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Atilio, the microphone. Hello, Atilio. Are you here? Atilio, are you absent or present? Lo veo, pero no. Ajá, uh -huh. and he opened his microphone, but it looks like if he is frozen, right? But he's been here. Uh, Brandon, <clears throat> Brandon is absent today. Claudia Maria. Present. Thank you. Concepción. Present. Thank you. Darío Antonio, I was reading the chat. Darío, absent today. Stephanie Carranza. Present. Thank you, Miss Stephanie. Josué. I saw him. Josué. Listener today. Juan Antonio, here. Teacher. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Mariana Scarlett. Mariana Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Absent. Marina Yancy. Marina Yancy. Absent. Mirna Lisset. Right here. Thank you, Nelly. Nelly Pet. Nelly was in your group, right, Mr. Tony? Yes. <clears throat> yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Nelson. Thank you, sir. Norma Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Norma Patricia. Pablo Adalberto. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Sandra. 
Miss Wendy Marisela. Present teacher. You're back. Carla Sofía. Present. Present. Celia Cristina. Present teacher. Marina Yancy. Okay, Atilio says present. Darío, absent. And Brandon, absent. Okay. Here we go. Mm, Concepción, read the first question and you say the name of the classmate who is going to answer. Okay. Question, the first question. Who is the person who fixes damaged equipment? In my case, it depended. No, the no, 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 it is not for you. You have to ask ah, somebody else. Sorry. Um, the question goes to? For Nelson, is available. <clears throat> Nelson Orlando, are you available? Who is the person who fixes damaged equipment? In my work? Yes. Is technical, technical support? Tech support. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh -huh, okay, continue. Uh -huh. And system um, and cars is mechanic. Okay, thank you so much. Now the next question. Juan Antonio, ask the second question to another classmate. Okay. What are some pieces of equipment you have? Okay, so- You have trouble with. The answer is for um, Josue Garcia. And this is oyente. Okay, he's a listener. Mm -hmm. um, the question is for Carla Sofia Chévez. Um. <laughs> uh, I have a computer, printer, cutter, uh, in printer, and only. <laughs> Only with the printer. Most of the time with the printer. Printer, computer, and cutter. With the printer, with the computer, and with the cutter. Okay, okay, great. Excellent. Uh, but you fix the problems, right? Sometimes. <laughs> okay, but that is good because if you have learned that skill, that's great. Okay. Yes, Excellent. Woman. Yeah, she is. Okay, so you see. She is an engineer. Yes, she is. <laughs> okay, thank you for your participation, answering those questions, because that was the introduction. And here we go. <clears throat> we have, listen to your teacher with the conversation, then practice with a partner. Look at this machine. And then we have Tom, Dave and Tom. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten, tighten up. I need to tighten up this screw. Sure, here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great, by the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Okay, so once again, Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to tighten up this screw. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, 
did Kit clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great, by the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it will seize up eventually. That's correct. Now I need two participants in order to read, to model the conversation, how you're going to do it. Okay, who's going to read, Dave? Aye. Okay, Tony. Oh, no, sorry, uh, Luis Miguel. And who's going to, uh, oh, Celia, okay. Celia. Let's begin, okay. Celia, Celia, you read Tom. Let's begin, please. Tom, I need your help. Can you face me, face me that spanner, please? I need to think them, think it out this screen, screw. 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 Mm -hmm. Sure. Here you go. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look, look, did Kate clean up the room before the le he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because as I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engineer does dance stop to turn off. Um now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't know it is regular, it will save up eventually. That's correct. Okay. Tighten up. Tighten, Tighten up. up. Tighten, Tighten up. Tighten up. Clean up. Switch mm. off. Call up. Turn off. Seize up. And then here you have these risal verbs. Tight, untight, tighten up. Clean up, switch off, call up, turn off, this up. These are verbs and this is a particle, yeah? And then when they are together, the meaning changes because tight, tighten, but tighten up, clean up, switch off, you already know switch off because we use it in Spanish in the appliances, we have a switch off, right? Call up, call up, turn off also, you know it, and this up, you get it from the meaning. So these are some phrasal verbs that we are using over here in, uh, in context, right? The spanner, please, I need to tighten up this screw, the little screw that goes, for example, in my eyeglasses, I have here some two screws, one over here and the other one goes over here, yeah? The two screws, yes? And the cell phone, no, the cell phone doesn't have screws, okay? So right now, class, we're going to practice this conversation. I would like you to focus on fluency and pronunciation, yeah? Remember, you read it as it is right now. Forget about something else to be replacing. No, just practice the conversation and practice the phrasal verbs that we have in here, okay? When you practice this conversation in your manual, you have under this uh, conversation, some sentences that you have to work in groups, okay? So you have to take turns in order to read the conversation and you are going to switch, okay? So here we go. But please, everybody participating. So let me see over here. Okay, here we go. I'm going to, ah, but before we go to the breakout rooms, let me tell you the, the number of the page over here. Yeah. Okay, class, here we are working at page 
number 35, yeah? And as I was telling you, these are the sentences, the interrogative sentences that you need to discuss and provide an answer with, okay? But you consider the information you have over here in order to answer the questions. But basically, okay, you already worked in exercise number one discussing these two questions. Now it is the time to focus on exercise number two. And later on, you go over this because you're going to have a wider knowledge about this. Yes, do you have any question? No? Okay, here we go. And now I think you're going to go to your groups. Okay, I'm sending you the invitation, Mariana Jans. Marina Jansi, sorry. I'm going to join you to another group, Marina Jansi. I'm going to transfer you to one group because since you arrived late, you are not, the platform didn't count you to be in one group. Okay, so hold okay. it. Okay, hold it. Mirna Lisset, join your group. Mariana Scarlett, join your group. Luis Miguel, please go to your group. Give me a, give me a few minutes, teacher. Okay, and let me see. Mariana Scarlett, please. Josue and... Okay, Miss Marina Jansi, I'm going to send you the invitation right now. Okay, you join group number four, okay. Marina Jansi. Go to group number four, please. Okay, that's it. Okay. And the rest of you class, your partners are waiting for you. Okay, class, did you finish the practice? Wow, you are amazing. <laughs> You're no. super champions, girls. No, Listen, Mirna Lisset, Sandra Leticia, Celia Cristina, and Concepcion, okay? Yes, I don't know, I don't know, but most of the most of the students always go to answer the questions first. Why it is a tendency? I don't know why. Okay. See you. Everything is fine over here. Bye. See. Sí. Okay. Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me the spanner, please? I need to tighten, tighten up this screw. Sure. Here you go. Thanks a lot. Look. Tom, the power. Para que dio is wish of. The power, algo así, verdad? Switch, 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 switch off. off. The switch same, as, uh, off. listen, the same as we say, turn on the switch or move the switch and switch, okay? A switch, switch off. Okay. Switch okay, off. thank you. Switch off. To switch off. Mm -hmm. Se puede decir de un solo switch off. That's correct. That's the way it has to be. Okay. Switch off. Okay. Switch, switch off. By the way, did you call up? The electrician, <clears throat> the engine does stop to turn off, and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that I think that if you don't oil oil it regular, I it will sign up eventually. That's correct. Aquí está. Yeah, I think. That if you don't oil, oil, oil it, así se pronuncia. Eh? No, oil it, no. oil it, oil it, oil it, oil it, 
oil it, oil, porque oil. es aceite. Si no lo aceitan, esto, no le ponen aceite. Oil, oil it. it. Uh -huh, that's correct. Uh, oil okay. it. Thank you. Oil Thank you. it. Only you too. <laughs> ok. Ahora cambiamos. Ok. Eh, Tom, I need your help. Can you pass me that spanner, please? I need to... Exact. Así está bien. Tighten up this screw. Ok. Sure. Here you go. Thank you. A lot. Look, did kid clean hot the rooms before it had left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. BDY, did you got hot the electrician? The engine don't stop to turn out. I know we have a problem. Yeah, I think that is you done or irregular. It will say up eventually. That's correct. Okay. Esta, miren, y Estefana. Great, mm -hmm. by the okay. way. Great, Look, Great. by oh. the way. <laughs> Great by the way. Great by the way. Okay. Genial. Thank you. Vale. Okay. Hoy voy. Yo como como. Yeah. I think that is your dumps or it's regular. It will switch up eventually. 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 Ah, eventually. Ah. Como que tú eras Este. Ay. Tighting. ¿Cómo es que se pronuncia si es tighting? No. Esta palabra. Tighten up. Tighten up. De sema. Tighten up. Tighten up. Uh, mm -hmm. Tighten up. Tighten, tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Tighten up. Todo junto, teacher. Yes, because it is a phrasal verb. Es una sola frase. Tighten up. Phrasal verb. Todos estos son clean up. Es una phrasal verb. Este up es parte de clean. Este up es parte de tighten. Si se fijan. Uh, one, two, three, four, five verbs, phrasal verbs end with up, and two phrasal verbs end with off. Okay. Es como wake up, algo así. Uh -huh, yeah. You have to say the phrase together. Wake up, get up, stand up, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Entonces, fíjense, y... al verbo le agregamos la partícula up. Y ya se convierte en otra frase, en otro significado, ¿sí? Ok, yes, Wendy. Yes. Y donde dice clean, clean up, está en un punto. Clean up the electrician. Great, by the way, did you clean up the electrician? Did you collab, collab? Ahí estoy en collab. Ah, en este. Did Kate clean up the room? Sí, soy yo, Clean up. Yeah. Okay, continue practicing. Yes. And, and later we we'll discuss the questions, okay? Okay. Okay. Keep clap, clap the room. Entonces el problema es el motor. Mm -hmm. Será the engine doesn't stop the tour off. Ese será el problema. Porque el motor es el que se apaga. No, para de apagarse. Ya. Ahora tenemos un problema. Uh -huh. 
Se dice. Uh -huh. Switch off the power. Uh -huh. Se escribe el motor. Tenemos un problema. El problema es que el motor no se detiene. Ajá. Aquí, the engine don't. Necesito apretar. Levantar este tornillo, dice. Oh. Creo que el problema es Uh, what kind of job uh -huh. does? Uh -huh. Ah, no, eh, la dos. What kind of, jo uh -huh. of job do you think Dave and Tom have? They are mechanics. Maybe one is mechanic. Yes. But the is. other one is mm, the manager. Mm, yeah, probably mm. the manager or the supervisor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe the floor manager. Yes. La, ter la tercera es, eh, es que nosotros tenemos que responder, ¿verdad? Who is in charge of checking machine, of the checking, the ma machinery? Who is in charge of the checking, the machinery? And if we, And if this is personal, it is about you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do you remember at the beginning the questions that you were discussing? Yes. In exercise one, uh -huh. so now you, you have the answer because it is personal depending on the place where you work, okay? Manager.
in my job with uh, is an um, outsourcing. Ah. Uh, en I know God. <laughs> we say, what kind of job do you see they in Tokyo? Operate. Se encarga de revisar la máquina. Tony, the technician. En el trabajo. Yes. Yes. Technician. You have it in the, in the conversation. You have it, Miss. Uh, I think it is here. Uh, 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 no electrician is the one that you have, but technician uh -huh. is like the yeah, same. Can. It is the same yeah, ending, technician. Technician, similar. From his technician, and they is the operator. No. Porque no, no habla como que de algo en este, como que el electricista es alguien aparte. Ya, yeah, probably, probably the operator, or probably the, the manager, or the supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> Finish class. I think, I think yes. And no. did you practice the conversation? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? And you switch roles. Uh, yes. yes. Mm. Delia and me and Mirna. Yes, yes. teacher. Okay, and you have the answers for the three questions. Remember that the last one is individual, okay? Because you work in different places, okay? Mm -hmm. okay. So I would like to listen to Miss Celia and who was your partner, Celia? Concepcion. Okay, ah, okay, would you read? Usted inicia, se le oyo. Oh, yo inicio si quiere. Okay. So, I need your help. Can you pass me that answer, please? I need to tie up this straw. Sure, here you go. A lot. But did he keep clean up the room before he left? Yes, he did. I know he did because I asked him to switch off the power. Great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to off and now he have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't oil it regularly, it, it 
it will sign up eventually. Oil That's it. correct. Sorry. Oil it together. Recuerde que son frases Oil. verbales. Entonces, el verbo y la partícula, en este caso la preposición up or off, son parte de ese verbo. ¿verdad? Entonces se dice junto. Tighten up, clean up, switch off, wow. call up, y todo lo demás, ¿verdad? Porque oh, wow. por eso están en bold, están remarcados, porque son juntitos. De lo contrario, no, no tienen sentido por sí solos en el contexto de las frases, de las oraciones, ¿ok? Ok. okay. So, that is why they are called phrasal verbs. Verbos frasales le llaman, pero son frases verbales. Ok. Now that you are ready, let's return and let's compare our answers, okay? Thank you very much for your participation and the practice. Let's get back. Thank you for returning. Let's wait for the others to return. Two groups are still working, but they are in their way back. Great class, so here we go. Okay, after the practice of the conversation, we have here three questions that you were correctly discussing and also you were providing the answers. So for number one, what seems to be the problem class? What is the problem in the conversation? Hello, potential answers. The engine doesn't stop to turn off. The engine doesn't doesn't stop to turn off. To turn off. So it is okay, continuously working. And then what kind of jobs do you think, this is an assumption, right? What kind of jobs do you think Dave and Tom have? Because it is my assumption, your assumption, her assumption here, the answers might vary, but not extremely a variation, okay? So what kind of jobs do you think Dave and Tom have? For example, Dave is- Operator. Operator, probably, operator, and Dave is the mechanic, the mechanic or the tech, yeah, mechanic or the tech. Here you can say both, okay, or the mechanic. Both is, is Dave. I think that Dave's operator and Tom isn't the mechanic. Okay, let's see, Dave, great. By the way, did you call up the electrician? The engine doesn't stop to turn off. So the, yeah, I see if you don't do. Tom is the, yeah, here. Thank you. I wrote Dave two times. Thank you so much. I don't know. No, okay. Yeah, because it is an assumption, so. And then here. This was a personal answer because this number three is related to what you were practicing at the beginning in exercise number one. 
okay, who is the person who fixes damaged equipment at your work? And here the answers are, I have uh, by now, let me see, I think 18 different answers because you are 18 at the moment, yeah? So depending on the nature of your work, you, you have to answer. Now class that we have gone over this uh, phrasal verbs used in context in the conversation and you have practiced reading and also you have uh, developed the reading comprehension skill because through these questions you answered in order to check the comprehension you had about the text here we have how to use two word phrasal verbs. Some verbs are two part verbs. They consist on a verb and a particle or a small word like a preposition. The particle often gives a new meaning to the verb. That's why I tell you, when you read it, you have to say it together because they go together. For example, take after. He takes after his father. The meaning is, toma después de su papá, no. O lleva después de su papá, no. He takes after his father. He looks like his father or behaves like his father. This is the meaning of take after. If I ask you, do you take after your father or your mother? I, if you ask me, teacher, do you take after your father or your mother, I will tell you, I take after my father. What about you, Celia? Do you take after your father or your mother? My father. Your father. Norma, do you take after your father or your mother? Norma Patricia Vasquez. Um, my father. Okay. Thank you. Now you have call plus off with double F. That's why we say off, call off. Mary called off the meeting. This called off, the meaning is Mary canceled the meeting. Okay. That's why we say call off. Mary canceled the meeting. This is the meaning. And now it is your work. You go over this individually. Match each verbs with its preposition and complete each sentence with one of them. You can, if you wish, you can get back and you double read the conversation and then you go over the perfect matching. And when you are done with this, you're going to complete these six sentences, okay? Using this, Two words, phrasal verbs. Is it clear? The instruction? Here, exercise number five. Match each verbs with its preposition and complete each sentence with one of them. The first part, matching. For example, tighten up. Number one is done for you as an example, yes? Switch. It collocates with switch up or switch off yes that's why i tell you if you have any any doubt you go back to the conversation in order to have a reference yeah you go or a uh, turn turn up or turn off call off or call up which one is it when you are done with this matching, you are going to complete this sentence is actually five because number one is done for you as an example. Can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt. Okay. And when you are done, you let me know so we can double check. Yeah. <laughs> 
¿Qué pasó? Hola. Hola. ¿A qué hora nos mandaron a los grupos? Hola. Hola, no, Carla. Está Carla. Estaba concentrada. También. We are not, we are ah. not in groups. We are in the main session room, but working individually in exercise number five and, next, and the second part. Okay. You have Thank part you. A and part B because everybody in silence. Yeah. And she was good night, good evening, good evening. Yeah, I don't know. 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 I don't Hello, hello, good evening, welcome, Hola. we are working individually. We listen to you, Miss Wendy, continue working. We are working in exercise number five. This is the first part and this is the second part. Miss Wendy, estamos trabajando en, in, de forma individual. El ejercicio cinco, la primera parte oh, es right. matching, verdad, estamos trabajando este matching, uh -huh. los verbos con las preposiciones o partículas para convertirlos en phrasal verbs. Luego que haya completado esto, completamos estas oraciones utilizando estas phrasal verbs, ¿ok? And when you finish, you tell me so we can compare our answers. Uh -huh. Okay, that's it. That's why everybody is in silence because everybody is focused.
Hola. Ay, hola. Hello, Miss Wendy. Here we are. Aquí está, Did you finish? Ya termino, si yo la veo. Ya termino de trabajar, ya termino la tarea de la primera es que lo parte. Es que lo que pasa es segunda... que me, me saca el inter. No, pero aquí ha estado. No es que se haya salido en estos <ríe> últimos cinco minutos. Aquí ha estado, Miss Wendy. Sorry, teacher. Hey, we see you, we see you. Uh, every two minutes I'm going to tell you. Hello, Wendy. Lo que sucede es okay. que no estamos hablando porque todos están concentrados. Everybody's focused. Vaya, teacher. Ok, no Me problem. Sola. <laughs> lonely, lonely. No, pero si nos miran, no hay problema. Aquí estamos. Ok. I okay. uh, think that we are frozen. Piensa que estamos congelados. Vaya, está bien. Ok, ah. teacher. Ok. Sorry. <laughs> Ajá, uh -huh. now you know when I ask you, you know, nobody answers. And I say, hello, is anybody here? Porque así me siento lonely de lonely también. Ok, continue. Sorry. Okay, class, did you finish the first part? No. Yes? No. Not yet, this one. Yes, finished. Imagine. Okay, here we go. Let's double check. Miss Wendy is going to say the, the first part, the perfect matching. Miss Wendy nos va a ayudar con el matching, okay? Miss Wendy, switch up or switch off? Switch. Speed up. Do you agree? Partially agree or <laughs> no. disagree, class? Sweet. Class? Correct, more or less, or incorrect? Oh, she said switch, switch up. up. She said switch up. up. No, switch disagree. Up. It is, okay, it is incorrect. It is we say switch off. switch off, switch off. Yes or no? That's why I told you check out over here, switch off in this case, yes? Okay. Switch off. Now, next one, clean up. up. There is no other choice, clean. So we have switch okay. off, tighten up and clean up, yeah? Now, yeah. the second part, call. Off or up? Up. Call up. Up. Turn. Turn. Up. Off or up? Off. 
Turn oh. off. Turn <laughs> off. Turn mm -mm. off the computer. Mm -mm. Turn off the TV. Turn off mm -mm. the cell phone. Yeah. And the last one. Mm -hmm. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Off. Okay. Very well. Now over here. Do you complete the sentences? Have you done it? Ya lo hicieron. Yes. yes, okay. Can you pass me that spanner? I need to tighten up this bolt. This workshop is very dirty. Let's clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up this place. Remember to switch up. Switch up. Switch up. The power. In English, they don't say electricity, they say the power, power, okay? The power is what you usually translate as electricity, but it is the power before you remove the machine. Now, I hope the computer won't turn off. Turn off. Turn off again. If you don't lubricate these types of machines regularly, they will. I say so. Mm. The printer just stopped working. We need to call up. Call up. Call up. Mission. Call. Um. Um. To call up a technician. Yes. And then, class, here is your work. Listen to the instruction. Exercise six, role play. You're going to work in pairs. If in the group there are four students, you need to create two conversations. Student A. You are a supervisor. Do you remember that we were assuming the jobs that the two guys have? One is a supervisor. The other student B, you are a maintenance personnel. You both have to check that a machine has received the necessary maintenance and ask and answer questions using phrasal verbs. Later, you have to present the conversation to your classmates and teachers here in the main session room. What are you going to do? You're going to work on a role play. Yes? Create a conversation. Yes, that's it. One is going to be student A and the other one student B. For example, Tony is student A and Ms. Celia Cristina is a student B. Yes? And you start. Both of you have to check that. A machine ha uh, that a machine has received the regular maintenance, and you ask and answer questions using these phrasal verbs. In other words, a conversation kind of similar to this one, but um, you have to think about other machine probably, okay? And that the it is not only the engine doesn't stop to turn off, but depending on the on the machine, yes? Or on the piece of equipment that you are thinking about. Yes, and later you are going to present it to the class. Sandra Leticia, hello Sandra Leticia. Hello teacher. Hola Sandra. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en, la, en, en el ejercicio de la actividad que vamos a iniciar Sandra? Vamos a practicar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué vamos a practicar? La, la conversación primero. No. No, esa ya la practicaron. Veamos. Concepción, coméntele a Sandra Leticia qué es lo que vamos a trabajar en parejas en este momento. Create the conversation and where the 
student A is a supervisor and a student B is a, y a man, maintenance personnel. Uh -huh. You are going to recreate that conversation, but you are going to make the necessary changes, okay? To make it original, right? Yes. Yes, okay. Nelson, hello, Nelson. Hello. Nice to see you. Are we clear about the instructions, Nelson? Yes. Okay, now let's go to the breakout rooms. Teacher. Yes, Teacher. Atilio. What, what these uh, phrasal verbs? The phrasal verbs. Okay. Yes. La frase verbales. Son uh -huh. las que hemos estado practicando. Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. uh, Turn off, Frases. clean up. Uh -huh. Esas son Frases las de frases. Frases es uh -huh. frases. Uh -huh. Frases verbales, sí. Ok, ok. Por eso, por ejemplo, uh, clean up. Todas esas son frases verbales, por lo tanto, cuando las practicamos, cuando las decimos, las leemos, van juntas. Sí, Porque de lo contrario, si van separadas, su significado cambia totalmente. Ok. Here we go. Ok, join your groups. Atilio, stay with me. Atilio, do you remember your partners? Atilio. Hello. Your partners were? ¿Quién era su compañero? ¿Quiénes eran sus compañeros? Eh, Carla. Carla. Carla and Wendy. Carla. Carla Chévez. And Wendy. Yes. Okay, so yes. I'm going to send you the invitation because you have problems with your connectivity. So at this moment, Atilio, I'm going to send you the invitation, okay? Join group number five, please. Okay. Okay, great. Tony, we need you, thank you. Luis Miguel, we need you in your group. Atilio, go to group number five. Uh, Mariana Scarlett, we need you in group number three. Josué, join just to listen to the practice. Mirna Lisette, we need you in group number one. Mirna Lisette, Luis Miguel, join your groups. And Atilio, go to your group. Thank you. Mirna said, your classmates are waiting for you. Thank you. Mirna said, just for listening, join to the group. Sí. Pero entonces solo la vamos creando y la, y la voy escribiendo y luego la. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Esa es la de ustedes dos, porque Sandra Leticia y Mierda Lisset tienen que crear una también. Ok. Pues la indicación dice prefer work. Sí, ¿verdad que sí? Yes. Esto dice la indicación del manual. Yes. Ok. Entonces ustedes van creando la, la de ustedes ahí. Eres la que like sustitution drill. ¿vale? De ir sustituyendo ahí algunos elementos. Okay. Others, ok. That's it. Okay. Bye. I was checking that you were four. Supervisor. Entonces ahí sería, digamos que usted es supervisor, digamos Claudia, supervisor. Ajá. Uh -huh. En paréntesis me voy a poner para que no nos perdamos. Vale, empezamos. 
desciendo. Así como dice acá arriba, ¿no? solo que en este caso usted no hablaría a mí, ¿no? Diría, sí. Pablo, I need you help. Eh, eh, por ejemplo, a uh, eh, I, I am a uh, um, maintenance person. Um. May I interrupt you for a while? Here, hello, Norma. Are you, are you, no, you are, because it is a question. Uh -huh. Are you a factory supervisor? Yes, I am. A pleasure, a, my pleasure, uh, or a pleasure to meet you. I am a man in this person. Bueno, uno, uno pregunta que si es el supervisor. Luego sí. Norma le dice que sí. Eh, Nelson comenta que usted es el, el maintenance sí. personnel, ¿ok? Ah, ¿cómo, ¿Cómo le pongo, por ejemplo? Or I, am, or, or I am the technician you are waiting for. O soy el técnico al, al que están esperando. ¿Sí? Ah, ok. I am the, I, I am the technician you are waiting for. Porque como usted va a resolverles un problema, lo han llamado, Ajá. ¿sí? Okay, I am a technician. You are, you are waiting for, waiting for. Okay. Oh, en otras palabras, soy a quien esperaba, ¿ya? <laughs> yes, to Llegó. fix the problem. Llegó su the problem. Yeah, yes, that's it. Okay, see you. Okay, see you. In... Bueno. Ya tenemos entonces ¿Cómo lo vamos a hacer? Que díganme qué, qué, ten, qué se les ha arruinado La mayoría son los usuarios Entonces You are the tech support Exactly the tech support Esto va a estar difícil Ay. Como dos mujeres contra dos hombres ¿Se puede imaginar? Yeah, I can imagine de, de. Ay, no. Okay. La niña Stephanie y la niña Marina acaban de arreglar algo. Entonces yeah. llegamos dos para tratar de ayudarle a, a salvar <risa> la situación. Ok, great. Vamos a ver quién ha arruinado. Comencemos la conversación. Aquí. Uh, para que Estoy escribiendo. Switch off. No, usted. Switch off. Ah. Y se apaga. Hello. Uh, why don't you why don't you choose Wendy as a secretary so she doesn't feel lonely because you're going to be dictating to her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, to interact. ¿Cómo se podría usar en algo así como de usuario? El, los finales, User. Todos? User. Let me say, Artilio, Carla. I need, I need to help. Yo necesito ayudar. Oh, I need your help. Uh, your help. Uh -huh. Your help. Okay. Your help. I need to you. Can you Can you what? Can you know, create users or recover users, pero no, yo, no, no estamos hablando do you, mejor. Do you know how to create? Do you know how to create? Pero miren, lo que sucede es que acá tienen que hablar de algo que se ha dañado. Mm -hmm. Yo estaba moviendo. Sí. Ah, la compu, okay. entonces. O la printer, como usted okay. tiene experiencia reparando printers. Ah, ok, sí, podría ser. Ah, ok. <risa> ok, yes, no problema. The, the printer no, no, no. 
is not working. But remember that you have to use the phrasal verbs that we have been practicing today, okay? Okay. The printer is not working, yes? Mm -hmm. Look, look, You hit cleaner. Oh, uh -huh. look at the screen if it gives a roar. Look at the, at the screen. Uh -huh. Mira la pantalla. Si tira error. If it gives hit cleaner. Mhm. Uh -huh. Mhm. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Yes, he did. It. He did, pero es que no entiendo por qué el did. Porque el no, no, no tendría que contestar. Yes, he did. Él sí lo hizo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. ¿Mm? Sí. That's correct. Yes, uh, it is mm -hmm. like, yes, he did it. Sí lo he hizo y luego mm -hmm. le confirma. I know, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Picaz, porque él como que lo vio, él fue testigo de que así lo hizo. Ok. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me five minutes to start. Hasta me separan minutes to. Give me. Deme cinco minutos. Give me five minutes to start the maintenance. Do you have a problem with it? Do you have a problems with the printer? No, but I think it needs it needs um, it needs clean up. I switch off the printer and unplug the power. And unplug without ED. Uh -huh. uh, because you use will, I will switch off the uh -huh. and unplug the. If you need, if you need a supplier, ¿qué quieren decir con supplier? Oh, eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Así como si necesita eh, tinta o otra cuestión. If you need, ah, uh, uh, pero entonces no sería supplier, sino que sería supply. If you need any supply. ¿Así? ¿Ah, Ajá. Uh -huh. Any supply, with double P, supply. Collab the IT department. Ok.
Often, me aparece. Often. The problem is that the bottom is Jerry. This must be cleaned up frequently. Mm -hmm. Frequently. Frequently, yes, frequently. Frequently, frequently. okay. Frequently, okay. And then she says, correct. Yes, no. Normal, normal answer. Correct. Ah, okay. Okay. I am normal. Ahí, entonces, ajá, ahí okay. vamos. Que ya usted prácticamente dio el diagnóstico, vea. Correcto. Entonces, vengo yo y le voy a contestar, ¿verdad? Entonces le digo yo, Red. Red. Thank you for you help me. For your help. Your hand. Please press the red, uh, pardon, the green button in the UPS. Please push. Push the green button. To reset. To reset or to turn? To reset. To run. Reset or to run. Ah, entonces primero the red button. The red button. Red button to turn off. Oh. Please push the red button to turn off. The UPS. Mm -hmm. Bye. Esa es la respuesta que yo necesito. <laughs> Ella podría decir: Is the box in the floor? Perdón. Is the, bo the, is the black box in the floor? Where do you connect the computer? The cable for the computer. On the floor. On the, on the floor. floor. It is the black box on the floor. Where, where you connect the cables of the computer. Is the black box in the floor on the floor where you connect the cables of the computer? Okay, aquí va a decir la niña Marina. Uh, Tony, acá es pregunta, por lo tanto tiene que ser is it, no it's. Is it. Okay. Okay. En esta. Sí, porque es pregunta. ¿Sí o no? Ay, perdón, tiene toda la Ajá. razón. Ok. Is it... It's what the UPS. No, no, ahí no, en la siguiente, Tony. Acá. Es que esta no... no, esa respuesta. La siguiente, no. Pero es que no, fíjense. What is. ¿Qué es la UPS? Ajá. ¿Dónde está? ¿O ah. ¿Dónde está? ¿Dónde no, está? ¿Qué es? 
Ah, it's the black box on the floor where you connect the cables the or the computer. Mm, okay. Tiene sentido. Yes, now it makes sense. Yes, okay. continue. Sorry for the interruption. <clears throat> okay. Marina. Oh. Eh, Marina podría decir. Okay. After that, I... the black box make a uh, sound like a beep, 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 beep. <laughs> makes a makes a beep. Makes a beep. Uh -huh. UPS. Um, no. No. Like this. Push the button. Push the green button to button to turn on the UPS and you go to listen a bit. <clears throat> See? And you are mm -hmm. going to listen a beep. And you are going to listen a beep. Go on. And you are going to. Going eat. No. Or going. And you are going to listen. Ah, chispas. Chispas. And you are uh, going to listen. To uh -huh. listen a beep. Mm -hmm. Uh, <coughs> ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más? Tony, Luis, Marina, Stephanie. Ok, y en tu minutes we get started. Uy, no sé si vamos a terminar, pero ahí vamos a intentar. <laughs> Because it is almost the time. Ay, colega. Ay, you don't feel it. I, ok, I listen the beat right now. Okay. Uh -huh, yeah. Mining as regularly, you will size size up, size up dirty. That's a good. Yo pienso que está bien. Teacher, no, nos la revisa para ver si tiene sentido, please. Mm -hmm. Concepción, I need your help. Can you pass me that toner and paper? Please, I need to clean up this uh, printer heads. Sure, give me a second place. Thanks a lot. Look at the screen. If it's... Y porque me ponen kit. Kit es el nombre de una persona. Que les preguntaba si que, ajá, if it clean up, yes, he, aquí, acá, aquí no tienen por qué ponerme he did, bueno, es lo que le preguntamos en el anterior, es que ustedes acá están ajá, eh, sí. refiriéndose a si otra persona hizo algo, sí, entonces le dicen ah. que se refieren a un hombre, mm. Pero acá tendrían ustedes no, pero nosotros que nosotros no hacer eso al nombre de una de las compañeras. No, pero no. Es que nosotros lo que queríamos hacer era como mirar si la computadora está limpiando. como eh, O sea, esto lo hace automáticamente ah, la computadora, no lo tiene que hacer uno. Y Firis ah, Clinina no. por eso, porque me había puesto el nombre de una persona. If it is cleaning up, if it is, is if it is cleaning up, cleaning, cleaning up, yes, acá no he did it, no, yes, it is, porque sí está limpiando, ¿verdad? Sí, está ejecutando ah. la acción. Yes, it is. Sí. Acá ya no me tiene que poner esto porque como la máquina eh, sola lo está haciendo. I know because 
I see it. Lo sé porque lo veo, ¿ya? Yeah. I know because I see it. Porque lo veo. It. I t. It. Lo, eliminate the other. Elimina el resto de la oración. To switch off the printer. Okay. And then, great, by the way, did you call up to the technician? The printer is... Es que dice ahí. Es Mary. Es Mary. Es como está manchando. Ajá. Uh -huh. And now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't... Mm -mm. If you don't give maintenance regularly, if you don't give maintenance regular, uh, it will, okay. Y está y está bien hoy sí está bien. Okay. Okay. Porque ya ya no me suena. Sí, correcto. Por eso fue que un poquito así, pero ahora sí ya se oye mejor. Okay. Hey, it's time to get back. Sorry, but okay. it's time. Okay. And uh, Celia and Concepcion, you are going to read it. Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, because it is. Yes. Say good night. Okay, let's get back. And I have to take your attendance because you were focused. Como todos los días, bien concentrada. Okay, thank you. Let's return. Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay, here we go. I'm going to call your names to take your second attendance. They are still very focused. Yes, Sandra Leticia. <laughs> oh my God, but you are back. Okay, Sandra Leticia. Here we go. I'm going to call your names to take your second attendance class. Uh, let's see if everybody's back. No, there is one group. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Atilio, Atilio, where are you? Atilio, hello, the second attendance. Hello. Okay, Brandon okay. is absent. Claudia Maria, Claudia. Present. Concepcion. Present. Darío is absent. Uh, Stephanie Carranza, absent. Present. Okay. Josué Neftalí. Josué. Juan Antonio, here. Luis Miguel. Present. Marianne Scarlett. Is absent at the moment. Marina Yancy. Present. Okay, thank you, Marina Yancy. Mirna Lisset. Ah, oh, she's here back. Mirna Lisset. Nelly Lilibet. Present. Okay. Nelson Orlando. <coughs> Nelson, Nelson. Present. Here. Thank you. Norma Patricia. Norma. Present teacher. Thank Present you, great. Teacher. Pablo, Pablo, Pablo. Where are you, Pablo? Present teacher. Thank Present. you, sir. Sandra Leticia. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Sandra. Wendy Maricela. Present teacher. Okay, here, hello. Carla Sofia, Celia. Present. Okay, class, sorry, but you were really focused, congratulations. And I would like to listen to you to your production, your productivity in the groups. Volunteers? Volunteers, you did it. 
<laughs> okay, the ones that I, I realized. Okay, thank you. Let's begin. Carlita. Oh. Ahí está. Buen día, ti. Okay. My teacher. Wendy, you Hola, have... dile, aquí estoy. Ok, Wendy. begin the conversation. I okay. need you have my printing is not working. Sure, what's the problem? Klaus, the printer is does not is not work properly and is make a strong light. Oh, I see. Did you look look up? If the paper is leaflet. Yes, I did, but I always printed the lines. Really? You try uh, ID cleaning? Cleaning? Fine. You're right. The printer is for way. Uh, I, you welcome. You sh should pre up every week. Of course. <laughs> okay, only here. Okay, tomorrow you show it to me because there were some things that I needed to clarify. Okay, over here, Wendy. Okay, maybe tomorrow you share it with me, okay? In another group, Miss Celia Cristina and company, your group. Concepción. Ahorita, yeah. Thank you. Concepción, I need to have, can you pass me the toner and paper, please? I need to clean up these printer pens. Sure. Give me a second, please. Thanks a lot. Look at the screen. It is clean up. Cleaning up. Yes, it is. I know because I see it. Great. By the way, did you call up the technician? The printer is smearing and now we have a problem. Yeah, I think that if you don't get maintenance regularity, it will say up dirty. Thanks for it. Very well done. Thank you so much. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, and now listen, the other groups are going to present tomorrow because of the time. But at the moment, I'm going to ask, uh, Ms. Marina Yancy, could you stay with me? Marina Yancy, hello, hello. Hello. Okay, stay with me after class, please. Have a good night. Bye bye, class. Sweet dreams. Night. Continue working in the Thank platform. You. And tomorrow, don't tomorrow. forget to bring the uh, conversation. The other groups are going to present tomorrow, okay? Have a good okay. night. Congratulations for your Bye. work. Bye. You did a, Hello, you did a great effort. Great effort. Congratulations. Okay. Bye. Bye. Excellent work. Bye. Okay. Miss Marina Jansi. Mariana Scarlett, have a good night. Okay. Miss Marina Jansi, I need you to tell me if you have any problem with, uh, with the with the structure we have been working with. Uh, ¿Tiene algún problema con alguna de las estructuras que hemos estado viendo hasta el momento, Marina Yancy? Um, de hecho, fíjese que uh -huh. no he estado tan presente en las clases. Este módulo no ha podido. Entonces, en cuanto tarde de la, de la, de la de trabajo, pero uh -huh. así, de manera aleatoria, por ejemplo, Uh -huh. uh, recuerdo lo del deris y de uh -huh. este sí me quedó bastante claro, pero hubo un tema que no recuerdo cuál era el nombre que sí 
me sentí un tanto perdida. ¿Y el presente perfecto? ¿Cómo eh, se ese sintió? Creo que fue. Vaya, ese creo que entonces fue. lo vamos a tratar de recordar. Ajá. Ok, permítame, este acá. El que vimos la semana pasada con los verbos en participio pasado, ese creo que es, ¿verdad? De hecho, la semana pasada fue la que más tarde estuve saliendo. Ajá, sí. Vaya, entonces vamos a trabajar eso un poquito para ayudarle. Acá tenemos, mire. Esta es la práctica. Acá. How to use the present perfect. ¿Cómo usar el presente perfecto? Usamos el presente perfecto para hablar acerca de acciones o actividades para expresar oraciones, ¿verdad? Que no se han finalizado. Pueden ser acciones o estados o hábitos que comenzaron en el pasado, pero que pueden continuar en el presente. Uh -huh. La estructura para esto es, usamos los verbos en participio pasado. Por eso les decía, tenemos el pres, simple present, simple past, en past participle. Cuando estudiamos la lista de verbos, los de la tercera columna son los que utilizamos para esta estructura. Entonces, usamos el participio de los verbos y el auxiliar, uh, en este caso sería has. El verbo tener lo usamos como auxiliar. Uh -huh. Para la tercera persona, que son he, she, it. Y usamos have para las otras personas, ¿verdad? I, you, we, and they. Entonces, la estructura es subject, auxiliary, have, or has, depending on the subject, dependiendo del sujeto, el uh -huh. verbo en participio y el complemento. Un ejemplo es, I have checked the reports. Usamos have como verbo auxiliar para formar la estructura porque el sujeto de la oración es I. I el verbo yes. checked no es pasado, es participio pasado. Lo que sucede es que es un verbo regular, por lo tanto, su forma en pasado simple y pasado participio es la misma. Lo que nos indica si estamos usando pasado simple o pasado participio es el contexto. Porque acá decimos, yo he revisado los reportes. No decimos, yo he Revisé los reportes, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Luego tenemos en tercera persona, she has explained her situation. Ella ha explicado su situación o la situación de ella para afirmativo eh, usando have y afirmativo usando has. Luego el negativo. They have not replaced the battery. The team has not had that kind of problems. In negative statements are not after the auxiliary. Acá para convertirla en negativa lo único que tenemos que agregarle es la palabra not, el negativo y ya lo tenemos, ¿verdad? Entonces hizo estas, estas oraciones del ejercicio 5. Sí, sí, recuerdo que nos la puso a hacer. Vaya, entonces veamos cómo quedaría esta oración en presente perfecto. Mario has. Okay. ok, Mario has. Changed, o no sé cómo se diría. Changed. 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 The. The fuse. Fuse. Muy bien. Entonces, como es tercera persona vesicular, si se fija, <risa> llevamos has. Uh -huh. Y el, este verbo change es también otro verbo regular no cambia de su pasado a participio pasado, es el mismo. En este caso es negativa, la número dos. ¿Cómo nos queda la oración? Número dos sería The production, the has, production not, has not stop. stop. Y acá dijimos que mire, el verbo como es Ajá. un sílabo, una sola sílaba, ¿verdad? Y Ajá. termina en, en consonante que va antecedido por una vocal y esa vocal va precedida por otra eh, vocal, el consonante, entonces se duplica la última letra. Y tenemos ahí está ¿okay? en negativo, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, estas oraciones ya las ya las tiene porque estuvo en clase ese día, ¿verdad? 
y uh -huh. si lo vaya. Entonces ahora ya le quedó un poquito más claro cómo es la estructura. Sí, sí, sí. O sea, es si que decimos, mí, si decimos, ajá, si decimos, por ejemplo, él ha hablado en el parque. Él ha hablado en el parque. ¿Cómo nos quedaría esa oración? He. He. Speak. No, él ha has. hablado porque sería presente perfecto. He, he has. He has. Speak it. No, porque es un verbo irregular. Entonces tenemos presente speak. ¿El pasado cuál es? Pues speak it no sería. No. Speak, spoke, spoken. He has oh. spoken. Este es el problema. In the park. Él ha hablado en el parque. Entonces, fíjese que este es el problema con los verbos irregulares, porque mm -hmm. el verbo es speak, el pasado es spoke, y el participio es spoken. Entonces, mm -hmm. este último es el que utilizamos para el pre, el Participio. Presente perfecto, porque este es el participio. Entonces, estos verbos son los que tienen que estudiar, porque mire, difiere totalmente, ¿verdad? Sí. Presente, pasado simple y participio pasado. Pasado Vean. simple, hablar en pasado. Sí, el pasado ya terminó. Esa es la diferencia entre pasado simple y participio pasado, que el pasado ya se olvidó, como dicen por ahí. Entonces sería, uh -huh. ejemplo, de spoke in the park. Este es el pasado simple. Ellos hablaron en el parque. No dice ellos han hablado en el parque. Si convertimos esta oración de pasado simple, quiere decir que esa acción ya finalizó. Ellos ya no hablan más. ¿verdad? Ellos hablaron en el parque. Ellos han hablado en el parque. ¿Cómo quedaría? They have, they have spoken Ok. In the park. In the park. Very well. Ya, entonces, pues sí. Pero ¿qué es lo que sucede? Que tenemos que saber cuál es el participio ah, verbo. del verbo, correcto, y cuál es el pasado simple del verbo, ¿sí? ¿Cuántos verbos son irregulares? Uh, countless, innumerables. Entonces, yo lo que aconsejo es, si nos aprendemos un verbo nuevo, aprender presente simple, pasado simple, pasado participio. Ejemplo, vaya, este verbo simple, drive, the past tense, what is the past tense of drive? Ay, no sé. Drove, y el participio, driven. Okay. Mire, estos son los que hay que aprendernos, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. sería en presente, hay drive my car uh, every morning. Por ejemplo, yo condujo mi carro cada mañana. Ese presente simple es una rutina. Ahora, uh -huh. yo manejé mi carro. ¿Cómo sería? I drove, drove my car yesterday. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, ya. Yeah. Yesterday morning. Yo manejé mi carro ayer en la mañana. Quiere decir que esa acción ya terminó, ¿verdad? Ya pasó, pasado simple. Ahora, si convertimos esta a participio pasado, I have, have driving, driven, driven, car, my car, my car. Yo he conducido o manejado mi carro, ¿sí? ¿Cuál era la pregunta? Um, es que a mí me cuesta mucho, por ejemplo, enlazar una oración. Por ejemplo, en, en el ejemplo 2, en el I drove my uh -huh. car yesterday, yo ahí, ahí, si me dice pues también hacer la oración, pondría in the morning, pero no es necesario entonces. No, es que usted ahí en la mañana, pero yo le pongo acá cada mañana. Va, pero nada abajo, que es yesterday. Oto, ah, ayer en la mañana, yesterday morning. Pues ese en la no se pone. No es necesario poner. Porque uh -huh. yesterday morning ya se supone que es ayer en la mañana. Uh -huh. Usted lo puede poner, pero suena así como muy español. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Como Perfecto. que se está transfiriendo exactamente de, de español a eso. inglés. Es okay. que eso lo transfiero exactamente. Uh -huh. Entonces, Correcto. a mí hablarlo me cuesta bastante por eso, porque voy pensando en cada enlace. 
pero no, porque fíjese que ahora se les está demostrando con el tema que vimos ayer de los idioms y ahora con las phrasal verbs que no es bueno ir traduciendo palabra por palabra, ¿sí? Uh -huh. Porque hay ocasiones en las que con las phrasal verbs y las eh, idioms no se puede traducir si no, no encuentra sentido y le va a doler la cabeza, ¿verdad? De querer saber qué es, pero es que esto qué es y no, no es palabra por palabra, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces tenemos que estudiar los verbos en pasado simple y pasado participio, especialmente los irregular verbs, ¿sí? Ok. ¿De acuerdo? Ok. Ok, mis. Gracias, teacher. Una consulta. Las Diga. clases están en el otro martes. Sí. Ah, ok. Para entonces ya tiene que tener terminado todo. ¿Cómo está en la plataforma? ¿Ya me actualizó todo? Terminé el examen. Uh -huh. Recuerdo que ahí me queda en el examen. Ah, vaya, muy bien. Entonces tiene que, ¿verdad? Eh, a partir de mañana ya vamos con la, ¿sí? Sí. Con la nueva unidad, creo. Ok. Entonces ya hay que, hay que ir. No, mañana tenemos la última clase todavía de repaso de esta unidad. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. okay. ok. Perfect. Ok. Have a good night. And thank you for staying here. Gracias por quedarse en... To study the verbs, a estudiar los verbos, ¿ok? Ok, gracias. Have a good night, Marina. Bye, bye. Take care. Have a good bye, night. Bye.